news uh, today and uh, up to 200 environmental protesters are expected to gather in West Lancashire. Over the next 24 hours they're protesting against plans to extract gas from underground shale beds. Green groups say burning more fossil fuels will exacerbate climate change but there are also more local concerns. Test drilling was stopped a few weeks ago after the area was hit by a series of small earth tremors. Let's join Colin Sykes now, who's at the camp at Hesketh Bank. Colin. Yes, Gordon, the first protesters started arriving this morning and all day long they've been putting up tents and marquees in anticipation of what they hope will be around 200 people taking part in a peaceful protest here over the weekend, just a couple of miles away from where the rig is drilling for shale gas. Earlier on, they got the chance to meet the men from the mining company. I know that you guys personally aren't trying to use this issue to scare people with the groundwater, but I, I think the boss of the mining company, Quadrilla, right. meets I mean, his critics head on. Only about understanding the science. Come on, we've right. seen what's happened in the U.S. How can people not be scared of, 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 of the catalogue? How, how much have you seen of what's happened of, in the U.S.? I, I mean, I'm it's fair to say the eco campers didn't buy the argument that shale gas is good for them, but they did make their points. Just a couple of miles away from the camp near the Ribble is the rig in its current location. It's portable and is drilling 9,000 feet down below into the shale. This is all still part of the testing process. The company hasn't yet decided whether to apply for commercial licences to extract the gas. Dozens of protesters are expected here over the weekend to voice their opposition to fracking, a process where rock deep underground is fractured using water and lubricants to release the gas. Some operations were suspended after a mini earth tremor, which followed a hydraulic fracking trial. The results of an investigation will be known soon. There were two small minor earthquakes in the area, and we halted just the fracking operation to really do a detailed study to, to really look at the, the uh, effect, if anything, between pumping and, and uh, the, 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 the seismic activity that was induced. So we expect to have that uh, report published and be here, uh, probably available to the public in about 30 days. Some local campaigners have also joined the protest here. They're worried about the wider impact of drilling. And we've seen some of the problems that they've had in America and we're quite concerned um, about how it's going to be regulated, um, any accidents. Obviously it's going through a main uh, route through the village. So obviously we're concerned about any effect that that might have on our local area really. With natural gas at record prices, the quest for new sources has become urgent. Convincing people this type of extraction is safe isn't proving to be easy. Well, real uh, global concerns uh, there, Colin, but uh, what about uh, the, the local area? What are the concerns there? Yes, Gordon, as you say, a lot of the protesters here have come from all over the country following the campaign on Facebook and Twitter. But locally, the feeling is quite mixed. A group of councillors on file councils say they're setting up their own working party to look at the possible impact of shale gas drilling. But more locally, the local parish council say they recognise Quadrilla as a legitimate company operating under a government licence and with planning permission from the local council. Uh, the demonstration here will culminate in a protest on Sunday afternoon. Back to you. Colin, thanks very much.